Hello, my name is Carolina Bonilla. Hola, mi nombre es Carolina Bonilla, and I am part of the Canadian Latin American Association. I am a person who was born in Mexico, in Guadalajara, Mexico, and moved to Canada in 2004 because of family reasons. Uh, since then, when I moved, when I first moved, I went to Winnipeg and then Hamilton. And five years ago, I moved to London, Ontario. I studied medicine in my country, uh, where I started um, also working in, um, in a hospital, in a research unit in cardiovascular research. Uh, then when I moved to London, um, sorry, to Hamilton first, Winnipeg and then Hamilton, I started a PhD in human nutrition at the University of Guelph, uh, which I finished in 2013, after five years. Um, so now I am part of CALA, the Latin American Association, uh, which is an organization that was born in 2007 as part of uh, the need of showing the Latin American culture in London and surrounding areas. Uh, when I recently moved to London in 2010, um, I went to downtown London and I saw that in the Victoria Park they had a, a um, something going on, a gathering. I don't even remember what it was, but I saw an ad saying Canadian Latin American Association. So as soon as my husband and I saw that, um, that uh, announced, we said, oh, we should go and see what, what is that. So we went there and uh, it was Dr. Antonio Belda, who was the past president of CALA, who uh, introduced us to CALA as an organization. Uh, he showed us a, a couple of pamphlets and he welcomed us to join CALA uh, as volunteers. So we started coming to CALA, uh, first my husband and, and then myself, and we became very involved with CALA. We love the fact that this is a non-for-profit organization which is made of volunteers. Uh, the majority of the volunteers here uh, work in different areas. Some of them are uh, engineers, physicians, retired uh, people, um, educators, etc. So we like also the fact, and I, I like also the fact, that CALA is always evolving and organizing new uh, programs and events for the Latin American community. And uh, I think that it is a great opportunity to have CALA in London because as I moved to other parts of Canada, I saw that uh, Latin American people didn't have a place to meet or a place to share their experiences and their culture. So I think that it is a very good opportunity to have an organization like this. So as I was saying, um, CALA is an organization that has many programs now for the Latin American community. For example, in the last uh, few years, ha CALA has had um, different events. Uh, some of the events are, for example, CALA Gala, which is an event where uh, we invite people uh, to come over and have fun. So we usually have a Latin American band. We have um, um, different prizes uh, for that day. Uh, so it is a very special dinner uh, for the Latin American people. Like this year, we had it in, um, during the summer and um, it came about 150 people from the community. The reason for the Cala Gala this year was because we wanted to raise money and support for a new program for seniors called Cala Casa. Another event that Cala has is also 
um, a health fair. Uh, we did in 2013 a health fair for the Latin American community. Uh, during this health fair, I was part of the organization and we invited different health uh, providers and organizations such as the Intercommunity Health Center, the Red Cross, uh, the diabetes program in primary health care uh, from the from the St. Joseph Hospital. We invited to the Middlesex London Health Unit, um, also YMCA, Spectrum, the Cancer, the Canadian Cancer Society, and other organizations. Uh, they came for one day in um, in good the, good, the Goodwill Industries uh, building uh, to talk about their programs to the Latin American community. We also had a couple of uh, presentations such as nutrition in the Latin American community, uh, how to navigate the healthcare system in the, in, um, the community of London, Ontario uh, for immigrants and new families. Uh, we had also some had on activities such as healthy cooking. Uh, we invited uh, people from the community to show some recipes, um, healthy recipes, and share with with the participants in that health fair about how to prepare those um, those um, dishes. Now, talking about programs and about the future of of Kala. As I have mentioned before, Kala was very privileged to receive a grant where we could put that money to, to hire um, people to work for Kala. So during the past year, uh, we had an executive director, we had a fund developer coordinator, an event coordinator, and a marketing coordinator. So with their help, Kala has developed uh, two main programs. Uh, one of them is Kala Casa, the one that is uh, for seniors in the Latin American community. Uh, with Kala Casa, we intend to offer seniors in the community programs, activities, and social, um, and social opportunity to come and um, share their experiences, participate in activities, and learn. Uh, so with this uh, program, uh, we are planning, and we, we have had the pilot of that program, but we are planning to continue with that program. And to continue for that program, we are applying for um, one uh, main grant to support that program. Another program, it's called Cala Explora, and Cala Explora, it's a program that is dedicated um, to, to enhance physical activity and food literacy in children and youth, and also their parents, their families. Planning to, um, to have uh, clinics of soccer and basketball and also some nutrition classes uh, for, for kids. Uh, we are also planning to have um, salsa lessons for children to try to stimulate and keep the culture of uh, those kids. Um, and also these activities uh, are very low in, in price. It won't be free because unfortunately or, or fortunately we have to pay uh, the staff who is going to teach their kids uh, those activities, but um, it will be very, with a very, uh, with the mind that it has to be very low cost. And so for that uh, Kala Explora, we have also had the pilot uh, study where soccer clinics have been uh, in place since the month of September in the south and in the north of the, of the city of London. And um, Kala also has offered salsa lessons for children 
and um, we offered uh, eight salsa lessons for children yeah, at the beginning of, of the fall. And people and parents and kids really enjoyed that activity. So we are planning to continue with that activity in the winter. So those are just few examples of what CALA um, and the programs that it has right now for the organization. And I think that in the future, um, there is a lot to do for the Latin American community. I think that uh, this is just the beginning of many things that we as, a Latin, as Latin American people or people who like to to support the Latin American um, community of London can do. And um, it feels really, really great when we reach uh, the, the community and they have a good time with uh, the different programs and activities that CALA has.